Hello, this is Jean Lamantia. I'm the author of The Essential Cancer Treatment Nutrition Guide and Cookbook, and I'm continuing my series where I highlight um, nutrition issues during cancer treatment and recipes to help with that. So this one, uh, I wanna talk about diarrhea. So this is uh, in chapter two of my book as I go through all the different treatment side effects. Now, okay, what's important about diarrhea? So uh, there are different types, of course. So you can just have straight up diarrhea. However, I want you to pay attention to a pattern that can occur. So if you have, for example, you have diarrhea, let's call it on day one, day two, you have a normal bowel movement, day three, maybe things are a little slow, day four, no bowel movement, you know, day five, no bowel movement, and maybe day six, you have diarrhea again. So what that pattern represents is a condition called overflow diarrhea. And this is not a diarrhea problem, it's a constipation problem. So what happens is, as the, so if you picture your digestive tract, so after you swallow your food, goes down the esophagus into the stomach, then the small intestines, which twist all around, and then the large intestine, which go up the right side and across and down the left side. Um, after the food passes through the stomach into the intestines, different nutrients get absorbed. And at the very terminal end of the large intestine, that's where the fluid gets absorbed. So basically the last part before um, it gets evacuated is where fluid is absorbed. So if you back up from there, up the intestines, um, uh, the, the contents of your intestines are very liquid, okay? So what happens is, as the, um, the stool sits in the lower part of the large intestines waiting to be evacuated, the body takes out fluid. So it gets drier and drier and drier to the point where you know your stool, instead of being that sausage, will have the lines in it. Or, and, or then you know the next stage would be you see more like balls, but it's all together. And then the stage after that, it's just all these separate hard balls. That's because the stool is too dry and it's too hard to pass. But what happens when those, you basically have that hard dry stool and then behind that is the more liquid because the body hasn't had a chance to take the liquid out. And so let's say day six, you finally go to the washroom and those hard balls come out first, which you might not see, followed by all the liquid afterwards. And you think, oh, I've got diarrhea. So then you maybe take some medicine to stop the diarrhea which slows down the bowels even more. So pay attention to the pattern of what's going on with your bowel. And all the clients who work with me, I have a virtual private practice. I get them to keep a food record. So they write down the day and the time and what they eat. And then depending on what the issues are, I get them to record other things. In this case, I would say record your bowel movements because I wanna know if you had a bowel movement on this day and um, you know what the consistency is like. So. If you're having diarrhea, um, just uh, from just regular diarrhea, maybe from the medication, for example, this is a good recipe. So this breakfast rice recipe, you do it in the slow cooker. Um, and so you can set it for overnight. If you're having diarrhea, the best rice to use would be white rice and a short grain rice. So the shorter the grain, the stickier the rice. Okay, and so, rice, bananas, applesauce, you know, that old diet, that's, that's good to have if you have diarrhea as well. You want to replace your electrolytes. So I have several um, homemade broths in here that you can make that would be good for that. If you have uh, overflow diarrhea, like you notice that pattern, sort of like that six to seven day pattern of diarrhea, followed by normal, followed by more uh, constipation, that's a constipation problem, in which case you choose one of the other recipes that's good for constipation. Okay, I hope that helps clarify things. I don't, I don't want you um, mislabeling and mistreating what's going on with your bowels because that'll just make the problem worse. If you need a copy of my book, it's on um, all the different popular booksellers as well as my website, jeanlamantia.com.